Ever wished you could talk to Google and explain what you're looking for? Ask real questions instead of adding up relevant search terms? AI-driven search engines promise to let us do just that. What will that mean for our search results? AI search tools like Perplexity or Bing have been around for a while. Instead of just listing links, they summarize website content in newly generated text. Yet, no one has managed to dethrone Google, which is, by the way, also testing AI search. Now, OpenAI has entered the race. The ChatGPT developers have launched SearchGPT. It's still a prototype made available only to a few users, but you can join the waitlist on their website. SearchGPT is supposed to answer queries conversationally and provide up-to-date information. This will work in multiple languages as OpenAI aims to integrate the search engine into ChatGPT. But what exactly can AI search engines offer us? A chat-based search will make the process more intuitive and simpler. No more clicking through loads of links. AI searches could make the web more accessible because most AIs are multilingual. Therefore, they could theoretically search websites in foreign languages and summarize them all for you in your language. However, AI systems are mostly trained in English and may not work well in other languages, especially rarer ones. Searching in conversational style allows us to ask more complex and follow-up questions. Lastly, search results can be personalized regarding length of the answers, style, search regions and more. But there are some significant problems with AI search engines. We've heard it before, but AI still makes mistakes. Google recently reminded us of that. When testing their AI search, the system taught people to put glue on their pizza to make the cheese stick. At least it suggested non-toxic glue. Another issue, we might have to start paying for searches. That's because running AI models is very expensive. Perplexity AI already charges a monthly fee for their pro services. Google also considers charging users for their AI search. On top of that, it's hard to predict the specific content the AI bases their summaries on. Imagine looking for something and getting fake news in a convincing summary. To prevent this, OpenAI is partnering with publishers to promote trusted sources. Sounds good, but what about smaller publishers that have no deal with the tech giant? Will their content disappear from searches? And AI search engines sap traffic and content from original websites. Publishers relying on ad revenue will lose money and may find their work plagiarized. Multiple news outlets, including the New York Times, have sued OpenAI over alleged copyright violations. Currently, Perplexity is under fire for more or less copying text from websites into their summaries. Are you using AI searches or are you more of an old-school Google type of person? Let us know.